Greetings and salutations folks, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres, thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today we're going to take a look at a 2019 Salem Cruise Light model number 19 DBXL. It's got bunks in the back, a front bed, dinette built into it weighing 4,300 pounds or so. This is that secondhand sugar and here's my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Brendan? What's going on happy campers? Thanks so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. Don't look that up. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd very much appreciate that. We're on Instagram, TikTok, <coughs> Facebook, Pinterest. Just check us out there as well. Enjoy this awesome little cruise line. Right on B, here at the front, we have a front power jack, a set of 20 pumper paint tanks, your battery box location behind there, wood frame, aluminum skin on these Salem cruise lights. And we do have a pass through storage from one side to the other, four manual stabilizer jacks. I said front bed, Brendan, that's it's actually a front uh, Murphy bed on this guy, right? So uh, I should clarify that. Furnace vent in through there, city water connection, fresh water fill, 14 inch tires, 30 amp pull out style cord, and then your sewer drain is down in through here. A full size spare that's gonna get a beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover built into it. Tell your friends. Tell your friends, brother. Six gallon gas water heater. We're also prepped up here for a backup camera. It's a one piece roof, which is how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. Right here, we have our electric awning starting just in front of the bunk window, going all the way forward. We've also got a big door side window here off the dinette, some outside speakers, an outside receptacle, nice secure step right to the ground, and then just the other side of our pass through storage. Let's go have a look inside. Right on folks, we're inside that 19 DBXL. You're standing just in front of the bathroom there, looking forward into our front Murphy bed. Good amount of storage here around the Murphy bed because we got our hanging storage on either side, and then also some uh, cubbies that go into our pass-through right in through here. We've got these armrests that I'm a, not a big fan of, but they're here. You can bring this down for uh, like the jackknife action, bingo bango, and your Murphy bed right on top. They did upgrade the mattress here, you can see that. Uh, it's a nice, uh, is that, that's not like a pillow top, but a nice foam mattress in through there. Over here to your left, you've got your kitchen. We got a 50-50 split on our plastic sink. The lighting's doing okay, Brennan? Yeah, it's okay. bright, but we're okay. Okay. Uh, down below the sink, we're gonna have a couple of cutlery drawers, a cupboard right here with your OG manuals, and then over here, we're gonna have our oven, three burner stove top underneath the three, uh, three burner stove top, three burner stove top underneath our glass stove top cover, pardon me, rain hood, microwave, and then your placing cups are right in through here. What a shelf. That's a nice shelf. Nice factory shelf built in there. Big fan of that. Over here on your left again, you've got your booth dinette that's going to go down to a secondary bed. Built into that dinette, we're going to have storage from either side. We've got your bins. Yeah, some nice little bins built in. That's cool. And then a uh, big door side window, like I mentioned, on the outside, a radio in through here. Cupboard space across the top. And then a nice little TV here, aftermarket ad, facing the bed, facing the, the one side of the diner and the couch. And then over here, we got our double over double bunks. Uh, each bunk's got a light in it, top bunk's got a window, and both bunks have USBs as well. And then flipping over here, oh, and into the fridge, Brennan. <clears throat> ah, it's fine, I'm gonna need to lock it. 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge in through here. Uh, mirror, big sink, cupboard down below. And then into our washroom now, we've got ourselves a plastic style toilet. Yeah, dump truck fits in through here. Tub with tub surround up in that shower. I'm six feet tall. You can tell I fit in here quite easily. Nice shower curtain too, hey, Brennan? Beautiful. All right, that's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.